What's going on campers? Camp Faisa here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. We did it. Me and the community solved the Maria Flores riddle. Let's get into it. Camp Faisa. Okay, you guys, so you remember a ways back, Gun Interactive made a hidden riddle within the game Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and everybody in the community was running around trying to find out what this riddle was, uh, how to solve it, if there was a riddle we didn't know, I, including myself, I would spend days upon days trying to figure out the Maria Flores riddle. And they had an Instagram page they made for the story of Maria Flores, why she went missing in the story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, why her friends and her sister are out now looking for her, and the whole reason why the game starts off and we're tied up in the basement or what have you. And that's why this whole Maria Flores is kind of like a mystery. Why did she go out taking photos for so long by herself and she got into trouble and the story says that she went missing and her family has photos that she sent back up to a certain point where the last photo that she sent her family showed her walking through a gate towards a farmhouse. That was the last time they heard from Maria Flores. Anyways, Gun Interactive, being creative as they are, made a game within a game like a riddle that we had to solve or figure out to find this prequel of Maria Flores well lo and behold me and the community my community we all solved it together we worked on this we figured it out we solved the riddle of Maria Flores I'm gonna give credit where credit is due one of the members over on Gun Interactive's Discord within the Discord the server Texas Chainsaw Massacre General uh, a user named by Rising Tom. I don't know how this dude did this, but he went to the Maria Flores newspaper and in the upper right hand corner that he took the date and he put that into Google Map search as coordinates. And that led him to a school street view in real life. And with in front of that school, there's a wall and you'll see writing on this wall and he took that, you know, a few other people took the, the writing. I don't know how these people figured this out, but that's genius. They took the writing and it led them to a YouTube video also created for this uh, prequel game that Gunn put together. And in the YouTube video, it's this news article, weird, like distorted uh, video. And there's a message in the video. If you look hard enough, it tells you to go to this website to download the game called Pedals. Well, here is the game Pedals. I'm going to play it. I downloaded it. I'm going to play it for you guys. And I'm going to uh, show you guys what it's all about. But before I even get into it, I'm going to let you guys know this is a prequel. This is not the game. This is kind of like a, a museum. It's kind of like a virtual cabin for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it's going to kind of show us the, what happened to Maria and the events that went down. So I'm going to play it. Let's check it out. And yeah. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this in 1920. Hi, and we're going to... Just want to let you guys know that I'm not used to playing with keyboard and mouse at all. <laughs> I suck at it. So anyways, uh, looks like we got Maria's broken down car, like like said in the, on the Instagram story. It's local exploring. These, this is mind-blowing. Look, look at the way everything looks. I went to, uh, I know you guys, some of you guys know this, we went to Texas to visit the locations where the house used to be, Quick Hill Road, and a lot of the, the, the environment was just like this. I mean, it didn't look like this now. A lot of it was all 
kind of like overgrown and destroyed, but there was mesquite thorns. Like my daughter stepped on one and went through her shoe and poked her in the foot. And there was uh, fire ants everywhere. And yeah, it, it was cool though. <laughs> We can open up that. Okay, I always love these flowers. There are little miracles planted here for everyone to see. They just make me smile. So apparently we gotta take pictures of duplicates of what we see here. Let me see. Uh, we gotta go back to this one, okay. So we gotta find the marigolds and take this identical photo or close to it to move along. We're kind of playing the role of Maria, like what happened to her, but we kind of have to like re reinvent it in a way. But too bad we couldn't get away and fix a car and not die. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, so if I could find these flowers in that bucket, that'd be that'd be cool. That'd be that'd be nice. Peaceful music. Uh-oh, tire tracks. So I think we're right. Yeah, okay. Just gotta find those buckets there. The flower pot, whatever you want to call them. Oh, here we go, right here. Okay, how do I take the... F oh. see oh no um, did that work hang on oh it's gonna light up green okay I gotta make the border green to take the photo okay now I know what I'm doing I think Yeah, right there. I'll add this to my collection. Okay. Now I gotta find the blue bonnets. Look at the sun in the trees. Wow, this is great. And it's got that kind of like fuzzy, uh, kind of like the old grainy look to it. Oh, okay. It'd be nice if I didn't crouch the whole time, huh? Oh, wait a minute. This is... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, dang it. I'm going the wrong way. I knew it. Blue bonnets over here. Okay, let's see which one I'm looking for. Alright. Uh, that's tree stump in the bonnets. Okay. To find that tree stump. Aha, I think I found it right there, right? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, why did it go back? All right, that's it. I think it was more over this way. Field of flowers, what a view. These flowers, yeah, look at the view. Look at that private property. Would you go, nah. Yeah, well, let's just go to the private property and take a picture of that. Okay. You know what Drayton said? Don't go messing around on no property. Things are dangerous, you're liable to get hurt. You guys don't want to be messing around with some old house. Yeah, 
You don't belong there. Fresh tire tracks too. Ooh. Look at how far she's walking away. I mean, I guess she could be like trying to find help. And on the way, why not take some photos? I mean, I did the same thing when I got lost by myself in Chicago on vacation with my friends back before we had cell phones. Instead of going to look for my friends, I was like walking around taking pictures and I got hungry. I went to a damn McDonald's. And before I even got to order my food, my friends came walking in. They're like, there you are. I'm in the middle of Chicago lost. It's kind of like the same thing, I guess, except for this is a little, oh, here we go. What's this? Some barrels. No trespassing. Private property. What does she do? She's going to take more pictures. That's what she's going to do. But you know, in this case, she's going to look for help for her car. And now she sees it as private property. She, most likely there's going to be somebody in there. Hopefully. I mean, she's, it's not like they're going to give her call the cops and give her a trespassing ticket when she's alone. But, I mean, that's kind of sketchy, man. Right? There it is. The shot. The one and only. Lovely. E. Hmm. Locked. Hmm. It's locked. What are you going to do, Maria? Oh, there we go. There's the, uh, the... Image I need to take right there, the photo. Uh, the hell is that laughing? Hello? Hello? Hey, look, my, my car broke down back there. Uh, I don't have any money, but I have a half-empty beer I can give you. Oh, well, I don't know who that was. But, hey, someone is laughing. Whatever, I gotta take this, this photo. <laughs> Oh, now we're on to uh, tires with flowers coming through them. Okay. The path, like, ended, though. Wait, hold on. Let's go back to the path. Oh, crap. It's getting dark. Maria, what the hell are you doing? Messing around this property. Is it over here somewhere? I gotta get through that fence. It's locked. It's not like I can find a key. Look at that. Look at how amazing this is, you guys. Oh, there's Quick Hill Road out there. Because I remember the power lines running. See how it goes up up on the left, beyond the trees? Right around there is where the hitchhiker got killed up, up the hill, though. All right, let me go back to that gate and maybe I can find something. Oh, look at how pretty that is, the sun setting. Wow, this is awesome. I hope the actual game, you guys, is as good as this. I mean, it's not going to look as good because I'm running this on my computer, at, uh, high performance graphics, but... I'm actually in a motel. It's a uh, efficiency right now. We're, we're waiting to uh, find an official house or an apartment, um, but we're here, and I got my PC all hooked up in a damn motel. Wow, look at that. Wow, Gun Interactive, I'm impressed. This is impressive. This is, oh my god, this looks phenomenal. Oh, look at that, the gate's open. That must have been somebody, was that the hitchhiker that went in there? I heard the laughing. Is he drunk? Is he drinking the tall boys? But you know what, hey, no trespassing or not, I'm going in here. What did we need to take a photo of next? Hold on, let me check. I did that. The tire. I need to find that tire. What's this? Oh, here it is, right here. That was easy. Got it. Okay, so we need to find uh, the sunflowers. A rabbit. A rabbit? No shit. Where the fuck is he? 
Watership down? Where are you? Where's the rabbit? I don't see no rabbit. Oh, there it is, you bitch. Oh, come back. Mr. Rabbit, get your ass over here. There he, is that him? Where'd he go? Oh, wow. Malachi. Children of the corn, where are you? The hell's that? Sounds like somebody's walking behind me. I think it was up here on the right. Whoa, <gasps> Jesus! The fuck was that? That rabbit? You little prick. <laughs> I get scared by a rabbit, you guys. Now which way do I go? Straight or right? I think I'll go right. Does he cut through here? There he is. Get you, bunny. Yeah, Maria. Get that rabbit. Oh, poor thing. What animal did this to you? I don't know, Maria. Why don't you just take a picture and show your family? Hmm. There's a sunflower field. Look at that. You guys, just take it all in. Alright, let's go over to that barn shed shack. Try to find the next photo. The pitchfork. Focus. Right there, money shot. Oh, little treasures. Alright, I gotta find the Texas Jackrabbit. These little guys are really active at dusk in the brush in meadows. Hopefully I can get one to stay long enough to uh, get a good shot. Damn jackrabbits. Oh shit. It's getting dark and Maria's messing around with a flashlight and taking photos. How stupid. You can't be any more... Look, find help, get your car started, get out of here. <gasps> oh, there he is again. Where? Uh, I saw him. Where is he? He was going this way. Oh, Mr. Jackrabbit, get your ass over here. Where'd he go? Get over here. Where, where, where'd Mr. Jackrabbit go? Where'd he go? Oh, I wish he would stay still. There he is. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Why am I... Hold on. Oh, I'm crouched. Get over here. I just want to take a photo of you. Jesus. Uh, oh, stay there. I think that's the shot we're looking for. Um, what do I gotta crouch? Hold it. Right there. Hey there. Oh damn! Jesus! What the fuck? Get away from me! Go! Run, Maria! Oh shit. Look at the stars. Help? Uh. Ah, uh, help me! Move out of the way. Hey, is that. Oh, there it is! There's a house. There is a house. He's still behind me. I also want to note to you guys there are two new playable killers, which is Johnny and Sissy. Hello? Oh, I, I've been here before in real life. Wow. Can I just... Can, I just want to look around for a minute. Check it out. There's the swing. Because like... I, I've seen what happens. I just want to take it all in for a minute. Oh, uh, look at that with the stars. Wow, look at that, you guys. Would you just look at it? Let's come around to the side here. Let's peep in the windows to see if we can see the bone room right there. Uh, uh, I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way, she says. <laughs> 
Grandpa, are you up there? Look at this. Hi, Grandpa. So yeah, you guys, to know, I forgot to, to mention, we have two new playable uh, family members. We have Johnny, which you just saw, and we have Sissy, that you can also play. And you saw, you just saw Johnny, and coming up here is Sissy. Well, let's let's go, let's go say hi to Sissy. So this is the end of Maria Flores' journey, I take it. Please, God, is anyone home? Oh, hi there. Oh. Help me, someone is after me. Poor thing. I can help you, you know. Oh, shit. Help, help. We gotcha. Johnny. <laughs> Sissy, what the hell are you waiting on? Get to it! I got this under control. Help! Help! Another face, Bubba. Yeah. I'm sorry, miss, but there's not much else we can do. I assure you, if any new information surfaces about your sister, you'll be the first to know. At this point, there's really no need to keep calling. Anyways, I want to say thank you so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. The visuals are mind-blowing. The way the sun reflects, the flowers, the environment, the, the barbed wire fence, the interactions. Amazing. As a first-person uh teaser museum prequel type of game is really good I, that was so creative of of the whole team over at gun to do something like that my only question is what if nobody figured out this riddle they would have made this game for no reason or would they just release it anyways and be like yeah nobody figured this out but here's the game uh but i cannot believe that this rising tom dude over on the discord figured out to take those numbers and put it as coordinates and then all the other uh, members on the Discord figured it out. That is amazing. I give credit to those guys. That is awesome. I would have never thought to do that. Um, anyways, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome. Make sure to like, subscribe, click notifications to all so you don't miss a video in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.